Turning to more of today's top stories in your morning rush, a third coronavirus vaccine could be authorized in the U.S. as soon as next month. Johnson & Johnson says it plans to seek FDA emergency use authorization in February. This would be the first COVID-19 vaccine that only requires one dose. Good morning, I'm Billie Jean Shaw at the Bojangles Coliseum in East Charlotte. Starting tomorrow, this will be the area where Mecklenburg County health officials will begin administering the COVID-19 vaccine to people 75 and up. But before you get that vaccine, you have to make an appointment. So you can make an appointment starting at 8 o'clock this morning. You can call the Mecklenburg County Health Department at 980-314-9400 and select option 3. Or you can make an appointment through the county's website. If you need a direct link, you can head to WCNC.com for all of that information. The second doses of the COVID-19 vaccine are being given at Atrium Health. It's been three weeks since the health system received its first shipments of the Pfizer vaccine. Atrium says about 7,700 of its healthcare workers received that first dose. Doctors say the second dose has more side effects, so they're going to be monitoring symptoms over the next few days. Lancaster County's coroner says the morgue there is hitting capacity. She says they have to take extra steps to make sure that coronavirus doesn't spread from um, a body. And lately it's been hard to keep up. We had gotten to a point where we were only doing a couple of them a week, but now we're doing a couple of them a day. She says 70, 75% uh, of their bodies in the morgue are people who died from COVID-19. Live pictures right now over the nation's capital where today control of the U.S. Senate is at stake. Georgia holding a runoff election for two open Senate seats. If both Democratic candidates win today, Democrats get the majority. If Republicans win either one of the two races, they will maintain the majority in the Senate. And that's it for your morning rush. All right, let's take a